Let's check out what Chef Mark's been inspired to create from the food show, the Auckland Food Show, which is underway now. And look at what we have. What are we going to be making? All right, so we've got two recipes for you today. Yep. So we're going to make a classic bacon butty with this beautiful streaky bacon here. Nice. And so what, what makes a good bacon butty? Bacon. Good bacon, <laughs> good bread. So yes. beautiful gluten-free um, sprouted bread. Nice. So really flavoursome and a good sauce. Ooh, yeah. uh, and then there's the big debate. Is it ketchup? Is it brown sauce? Ooh, I'm a <laughs> bit more ketchupy. <laughs> okay. But today I'm going to make a brown sauce from scratch. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to do that because not, not, not a lot of many people know how to do that. Okay. So. And then second recipe, we've got a tart to town. So a classic mm. pear tart to town. We've got beautiful vanilla bean ice cream mm. and a nice little... Uh, uh, treat on top. Oh, I'm looking mm, forward show you to that, that. A bit later. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Mark. Okay, we'll get both recipes later this morning and tell you more about those delicious products from the food show in Auckland, which opens today at the ASB Showgrounds. Great to have you with us. We're in the Beko Kitchen, and all this week we've been inspired by some of the amazing exhibitors at the food show Auckland, which opens today at the ASB Showgrounds. And Mark, we've got two recipes today, and we're going to start off with your bacon butty this morning. Yum! That's it. Two of my favourite ingredients: bread and bacon. Nice work. <laughs> We're going to be using Bakeworks Home Street bread, which is fantastic, and farmland bacon. Yeah, and this is gluten-free bread as well. Nice. And gluten-free bacon, too. And bacon, yeah, yeah. That's so it's all really good. good. <laughs> Holly, Holly can finally eat something on the show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put extra butter on so she can't eat it. It's all right. There'll be more for us. Right, so we've got a hot griddle pan. So mm -hmm. this is a great way of cooking bacon in the griddle pan. Nice. You, you can do it in a normal frying pan if you want, under the grill. I mean, there's numerous different ways of um, cooking bacon. Yeah. Well, it's one of my favourite ways is in the griddle pan. Nice. You know, it gets nice and crispy, you get those beautiful bar marks, you mm. know, and then some of that fat runs off as well. Oh, smells delicious. So, gluten free and no sugar with farmland bacon, which is fantastic. Available in three different sizes if you want to get your own. Yeah, and that's it. And you can see straight out of the packet, it's really um, dry as well. So, when you're cooking the bacon, it goes straight on there, it's sizzling, we're getting the colour straight away, you know, and we're not getting all that water coming out. Great. So that's going to make it even tastier. Oh, I love the smell. Right, a tip for you now. Yes. So you'll like this one. Yeah. Griddle pan. Half of it, we've got the bacon in there. Yeah. I've left a little bit of space here to toast the bread. So we're ah, going to toast the bread. I see. And that fat and flavour oh. just coming off the bacon, just going to taste, make the bread taste so good. Oh, that's good thinking. Yeah. But So it's in the griddle pan, so it's raised up. So there's only going to be a little bit of fat, just helping that colour and flavour in that. You know, okay. it's not going to be soaked in fat as well. So Brilliant. OK, nice. It's a good one. Keep right. on this. So that's cooking. Yep. Right, I've got a pan on here. What are we going to be doing? Uh, I'm going to put a fried egg in there. Okay, cool. Yeah, bacon butty. Needs I said you need egg. three things for a good bacon butty, but you actually need four for an egg. <laughs> so a nice fried egg. Nice work. So just going to start it off on sort of a you know, low to medium heat. We just want to slowly cook it from the bottom. You okay. Know? I don't, don't want to see like crispy bits on the side of the egg. Oh, don't do that. You don't do that. No, one. no, <laughs> nice, and, nice and slow. Well, that's D my problem because I think I have my pan too hot when I'm doing a fried exactly. egg. Exactly. So, yeah. so start with a nice medium. You can see it's sort of starting to cook. Uh, it's, it's a little bit raised there, you know, you get the free range eggs, so they're raised up in the centre, so a little bit of that oil after when it's hot, you can baste it just to cook those bits. Check your bacon, Mike. Okay, yeah, nice. Oh yeah, good. <laughs> Give me a fork, I'll be able to keep an eye <laughs> on this bacon. Yeah, don't burn the bacon, that's the main ingredient. Oh, right, we're yeah. going to make some brown sauce. So, I've just got a little bit of water in the uh, pan here, and mm -hmm. I've got some dates. So we're going to pop them in there, and this is going to give us this nice fruity tang, which is in the uh, brown sauce. Got a little bit of a uh, tomato paste goes mm -hmm. in there. Woo! Tamarinds. So that goes in there as well, and that gives us that nice zing. Malt vinegar for some sharpness. Yes. So massive flavours in here. Okay, good. And some molasses. And everyone needs oh, a good sauce. Look at that. Nice. You know, and you, and you can make this. You can make a larger quantity of this. Mm -hmm. uh, cook it all down, you know, and bottle it up, and then keep it in the fridge, you know. Okay, nice. The sauce is looking incredible. A little bit of apple juice in there as well. That is the most the important thing us. in a bacon butter, apart from the bacon, isn't it? It's the sauce. Oh, yeah, you need a good sauce. And, and you know, HB sauce is good. Okay, nice. Um, but, you know, if you make it yourself, it's even better. A little bit of garlic goes in there. A little bit of chilli as well for just a little bit of heat. You don't need too much. Can you make a big batch of this and just store it? Yeah, yeah, make okay, a, big, great. a big batch, store it. Nice. That's looking good. Yeah, the everything's looking really there. good here. Uh, some orange as well, a bit of orange juice. And then you want to bring that to the boil and you want to simmer that. You can simmer that just nice and slowly, even put a lid on it uh, for about an hour until everything's soft and then just blend it up. Let it cool down for about five, five, ten minutes and then blend it up to a nice thick um, chunky sauce, you know. If you want it a little bit thinner, just add a splash of water. You've got so much flavour in there. If you want it thicker, leave it thick. 
Brilliant. Okay, so the Bake Works bread, this is nice and fluffy too, which is great for gluten-free bread, isn't oh, it? It's fantastic, and it's got, nice, uh, it's got seeds in there, it's got nice texture in there. Mm. So we've got a nice colour in there, we've got all that flavour from the bacon fat, oh, yeah. and, and then we need some butter. Okay, nice. Bread. And this bacon I'm not going to so put crispy. all that butter in. I'm just going to put like a little bit of butter in. Well, a nice little bit of butter. So you can see how that's um, the oil's getting nice and hot there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to move my bacon off because it's cooked. It's done, chef. It's done. That's it. And so I was saying before, just that hot oil, and you just baste in that sort of raw part of the egg there, just until it's all cooked. And then you get a nice, you know, set white, runny Brilliant. yolk. It's going to be perfect in there. I'm going to continue building this. You continue building, and then we'll, I'll show you in the second segment how it should look like, and then we're going to make that tart to town. Excellent. Okay, this is smelling incredible. It's going to be the perfect brunch. And thanks to Farmland Foods and Bakeworks for the inspiration. You can catch both of them at the Food Show in Auckland from today and across the weekend. For more info, you can go to the website foodshow.co.nz. Coming up next, Mark will make recipe number two, a pear tart to tarn with vanilla bean ice cream and a granola topping. How delicious does that sound? We have got recipe number two that's been inspired by the Food Show Auckland, which starts today. And we've finished at number one. Our bacon butty looks incredible. We have used the Farmlands Thin Slice Streaky Bacon, and we've also used the Bakeworks Home Street Good Seed Sprout of Bread. Absolutely delicious. You know what the good thing is with that bacon? If you don't like it, you can send it back for your money. Isn't that good? Or send it to Mike. <laughs> if you don't like it, send it to me, because I love it. Bacon butty's looking great. Now it's time for the pear tart to tarn. Pear tart to tan, so basically it's a pears or a pear tart cooked in caramel, covered with mm. puff pastry and then flipped over. Okay, yeah, this sounds good. So we started off by putting some sugar, yeah. we're going to caramelise that. Yeah, we're going to caramelise the sugar, yeah. so you can see just in a dry pan you've got the sugar in there. I'll do it on here so there's a bit more heat. Okay, nice. Uh, and then just let it melt and then you can just oh, give it a light stir. Don't, don't, don't charge. Yeah, don't, don't stir it too much at this okay, stage. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to stir it at all. Then. Right, so you're just going to peel the pears. Yes. Just cut the tops off and just going to scoop out the uh, the little seeds here. Okay, nice. So it's, ideally don't do it with the tip of your knife because nice. if you slip it's going to be dangerous. A little melon baller is really good. Oh yeah, true, true. Uh, I peeled them for you, I wasn't going to do that, but they're yeah. too complicated for me. <laughs> right, and then, so we've got the sugar there, so... Yes. Um, How, what do I do with it? Do I move it? Do I just leave it? I'm, not, no, I'm scared. So you can oh, see you can move it. Yeah, okay. you can see it melting now, so it's going to melt underneath. So I'm yep. going to keep the heat on now, and you want to watch this at this stage. Okay. And you can see it sort of melting. As it melts, it's going to start caramelising. So we're looking for a nice sort of a, a, a light blonde caramel. Okay, cool. And then we've got a little bit of butter here, and we're going to whisk in the butter. Okay, cool. So we're going to make an actual... Um, Caramel, so you can sort of start stirring that together. Okay, nice chef. And you can see you're starting to get like a little bit of colour there. Oh yeah, it's looking good. All right, so you've got to be really, really careful at this stage because this is really, really hot. Okay. Okay, so once we've got a little bit of colour and all the sugar's melted. Are you happy with that? Is yeah. that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. So now I'm going to put a little bit of butter in. Okay. A little bit at a time and you're just going to whisk it in. You can turn the heat down slightly. Okay. You're working me hard today. Oh, she's a busy one. Two recipes. So you're though. making a yeah. So you're making a toffee. Oh yeah, cool. Never made toffee. My sister used to make it all the time and gore. So it's really good. And then once that last bit of butter's in and it's all nice and uh, incorporated and emulsified, yep. we're ready for the next stage. Okay, it all smells delicious. All right, there it is. So. You can stop stirring that. Okay, cool. So that's going to be your base of your tart. Mm -hmm. So I've got a little vanilla pod there, nice. cinnamon stick, star anise, that goes in the centre. Right, and then we've got our pears. Yeah. So we can just trim the ends off so they're a bit more rounded. You know, you, you can make this with apples, with whatever you want. Mm. And then... Mm. So good. What we do, pop them in, pop them together, and then we're going to... got some puff pastry here. Yeah. So we're just going to cut a, a disc out. I've got my scoop ready. And then Ooh. we put the puff pastry over, fold it over the pears, and then turn it off the heat, and that goes in a hot oven. Yes. Oh, this is so exciting. So about 180, 190 degrees for about 15, 20 minutes until the pastry is all nice and golden. Mm, and that caramel yeah. goes really nice and dark. Okay, can't wait to see the finished product, which we'll see towards the end of the show. But we're going to top it off with some of the products from the Auckland Food Show. And first up, our Pure Delish Chop Nut Knock Granola. This is awesome. You've got to try this. Oh, yeah, and, some the, of this. and you know what the good thing is about this? Is that it's gluten-free and egg-free. And it tastes fantastic. Absolutely delish.
Mm. Pure delicious, in fact. Okay, that's good. I'm going to sprinkle that on the top, but before we put that on, we're going to use some of the Applebee Farms ice cream. Yeah, so beautiful vanilla ice cream mm. made with fresh vanilla pods. So you've got these little speckles of vanilla in there. Really good, creamy, mm. uh, just melts in your mouth and perfect with the uh, tight stem. This is an award winner too. And the good thing is, is that they've got that high quality Madagascan vanilla in the Bedford ice cream. And you're going to scoop some out, eh? <laughs> yeah. A2 protein in there and it's the only one of its kind in mm. New Zealand the only ice cream of its kind with A2 protein which is really good if mm. you've got you know issues with your stomach which is fantastic is it good oh it's so good okay it just, cool it just uh, just the vanilla flavor is just amazing mm. and these products of course mm. you can see the stands at mm. the food show don't mm. eat it all <laughs> I want to take some home <laughs> That's going to be delicious. And you can get to try the produce and chat with the guys from Applebee Farms and Pure Delish at the Food Show Auckland, which opens today at the ASB Showgrounds. We'll, they'll be there along with very exciting exhibitors from across New Zealand and the world. Plus, you can get tips from some of our favourite chefs, including Chelsea Winter, Nadia Lim and Luke Hines. Go to thefoodshow.co.nz for all the details. Well, speaking of filming, I want to film this because it is a piece of work. It looks beautiful. All right, all right, where'd you go? Bacon, ice cream, bacon, ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. Ice cream. Bacon. Bacon. Yeah. Oh, both at the same time. What's on the menu tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I've got Thai braised lamb shacks. Mm.